Jack Dorsey's block snaps up Bitcoin mining chip as Intel winds down production. I believe they're scheduled to wind down their production April of 2024. And I think that this is a very exciting story. Bitcoin, everybody loves Bitcoin. Most of the people that are here um, got into crypto with Bitcoin. And Will, I actually want to toss this to you because you're our mining person. I am not the most tech savvy. I just know that we need Bitcoin miners. We need to support them because we need that network to work. And we won't want to operate in a true decentralized economy. That's right. Uh, this story in general is just speaking to the fact that big players come into the industry and big players leave the industry. And there's still other people who will pick up the chips and keep playing. So Jack Dorsey, left Twitter a little bit ago, been focusing on Block, formerly Square, is the CEO of that. It's a top 50 bank within the US, and they are focused on Bitcoin. They have a subsidiary called Spiral, which is working more on the tech side of things. They're working on a Lightning development kit, and they're working on Bitcoin mining with the end goal of decentralizing Bitcoin mining. How to do that when it's highly industrialized? Well, the best way is probably to help increase the different manufacturers of ASICs, these Bitcoin mining machines that you'll see at sites in Texas, like in Austin, uh, or up in North Dakota and Canada. Uh, Bitcoin mining was largely in China, but over the last two years, it's moved to the US, it's moved to Canada, and it's become a pretty open game for other people to get involved with manufacturing. And that's where Intel jumped into the scene almost about a year ago to the date of consensus as of last year. And as of this year, they've already jumped out because they decided that the cost and the money just didn't really make it worth it. That being said, they still have some chips to make these machines available and Block went out and purchased these. There's a few other companies also purchasing these chips, but they're smaller. They haven't deployed them to date really. We've sort of been waiting for anyone to make a machine using Intel chips. I have two questions for you. One. Was Block developing their own chip before this happened? And are they winding that down now? It's a good question. I don't have an immediate answer. This article does say that they right now are purchasing the chips because they don't want to continue focusing on that. I don't know how far they got into the chip development. It's a pretty specialized industry. A lot of these machines cost more than your house, and they're located in Taiwan, so it's not very easy to make them. Uh, they're also wanting three nanometer chips, which is the newest in chip technology. It's very, very tiny. It's like thinner than your eyelash. Uh, right now, a lot of people use five nanometer chips, and they're going to three nanometer, so block one to purchase available ones on the market. OK, second question. Is mining still profitable? Yes. Is it? Jen, we still have Bitcoin. We wouldn't have Bitcoin. I know otherwise. we have Bitcoin, but like, is this a 30K Bitcoin? Tell me about yeah. the business model. Yeah. No, miners definitely had a tough uh, 2022. Like, a lot of people in the crypto industry, uh, anyone who had took on a lot of debt, anyone who was like a uh, perma bull, you probably got wrecked. I like to say that Bitcoin miners are the most bullish out of anyone in Bitcoin because you are constantly buying Bitcoin from the network in exchange for electricity, and you constantly have to be buying Bitcoin, otherwise you have to shut down your operation. And when your operation consumes as much energy as Houston, well, then you have to buy a lot of Bitcoin. And last year was kind of tough, so you got wrecked a little bit. Yeah. I'm still just appreciating how you said, pick up the chips, and it works <laughs> both ways. So that was an amazing metaphor. I just don't want that to be lost in the flow of this conversation. Good one by you, that was nice. Thank you. Thank Block you. remains interesting, right? They have a lot of experiments around Bitcoin specifically because Jack Dorsey's really into it. I think he is a good sort of emissary for Bitcoin, right? Um, he's a little bit more left, I think, in the political spectrum. Sort of like the Democrats in Congress arguing for crypto rather than like Republican emissaries arguing for crypto. So I think from a narrative perspective, the fact that Block continues to invest across a bunch of different aspects of sort of the Bitcoin tech stack remains super interesting and suggests that they're here for the long haul. So uh, this, is, this is interesting, I think, that they're ramping up hardware stuff, they're stepping in. I know you mentioned previously that Intel kind of produced a glut of these chips and there were some of them on the market. So they see opportunity there and they're gonna pick up those chips where others, where others fold. I will say I wasn't the biggest fan of Jack Dorsey for a very, very long time because I don't understand how you can be pro-Bitcoin but also be pro-censorship. 
that doesn't make sense to me. But I will see, say that he's putting his money where his mouth is. He's actively trying to contribute to the network, trying to contribute to the community, and also to um, help us get hopefully better regulations in regards to Bitcoin. I won't say crypto, though, because... <laughs>